What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro of Aviation. Hope you guys had a fantastic day today and today we have another release reaction for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Today we have a very exciting release reaction for you guys. Today we have the Aviation 200 and 400 pre-orders for you guys. Really excited for these. I hope you guys are as well and I'm very excited to dive into this. First and foremost, just wanted to really quickly say I'm very sorry that it took a while to get these going. I had a pretty big backlog of like five of these release reactions so I ended up periodically posting those. And now we're finally here. Some of these are a little bit uh, behind, so I apologize about that. But we got quite a few to catch back up the speed on. I hope you guys are excited for it. So with all that being said, everybody, let's get started with the Aviation 200 and 400 planes. So very excited to see what they're going to have for us this time around. I'm really excited. So yes, this is going to be absolutely awesome. And Aviation 400 always does a great job in the 200 scale too. I don't know as much about their 200 scale, but I would love to learn more about it. So with all that being said, here we go, everybody. Very excited for this. Let's take a look at what we have starting with the aviation 400s here we go beginning with the uh eta airways airbus a350 900 echo india india foxtrot bravo withstand very nice so this has been a airline that's been uh, obviously developing quite rapidly due to um alitalia failing of course well i don't want to say failing but unfortunately going bankrupt so it's been really cool to see eta do their thing and it's been very very nice so that's a really cool plane i think the livery is very unique it is pretty rare nowadays not to see a euro white from an airline like that so that is a really cool plane their a350 mold is bomb so i'm really excited to see how they'll do with that aircraft so that is very nice right there for aviation 400 very nice the next aircraft up is a China Southern Airbus A350-900, uh, Bravo 30 Foxtrot 9 with a bunch of Chinese writing right there. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe that's a different registration or something. This one also comes with a stand. I think they all do. So this is another very nice release from Aviation 400. I think that they'll do a really good job with this aircraft. And China Southern is a great airline. I used to have a Boeing 787 from them back when I was a kid. So very, very cool right there. That is really nice. So very cool. Nice release right there. Next up, credit to the photographer on this ANA all upon Star Line Spoke 777-381ER. Uh, Juliet Alpha 731 Alpha was stand as well. This is a beautiful looking airplane, as you guys can see. Uh, the Star Alliance livery and the ANA titles, I think, looks really, really nice. Um, obviously, there's been some ANA 777s done over the years, but this Star Alliance is a nice rendition as well. So, for anybody looking for it particularly, that is very nice. So, definitely a niche based aircraft, but I'm sure that some people that would rather have the normal livery would probably end up with that too. So, very nice to see. Credit to this photographer for the Philippine Boeing 777-3F6ER, Romeo Papa Charlie 7778. Very, very nice. So this is another beautiful looking aircraft. I really like Philippines Airlines. I think they do a really good job. Uh, this is a really cool plane as well. I'm sure a lot of people have been looking for a very good mold of this aircraft. I can't recall if Aviation 400 has done a 777 for them, but that's a really cool plane. And I'm very excited to see how it turns out. So really, really nice. I'm sure a lot of people are very excited for that plane. Oh, how about this? Whoa, we got the uh, Cathay Pacific Boeing 777-300. They labeled it as miscellaneous airlines for whatever reason. I'm assuming that may be copyrighted. And sorry that I didn't know what MISC meant for the longest time. It just means miscellaneous as I assumed. Boeing 777-300ER Bravo Kilo Papa Foxtrot in the Asia World City livery. This is really cool. Now, obviously I think Phoenix has done this aircraft amongst other uh, manufacturers, excuse me. But this is just such really, really cool to see it on um, Aviation 400's mold. Um, I really think this is one of the coolest liveries out there. Of course, you got some a really cool color contrast for the Asia World City livery, and I think it's really, really cool. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to be very excited to see this aircraft done on a superior mold. The Phoenix one's really, really good, but this one is great. And that difference from good to great is going to make this a huge release. So that's really, really exciting for Aviation 400, and I think they're going to do a very good job with this airplane. So well done right there from Aviation 400. Very nice. Singapore Star Alliance Boeing 777-312ER9 Victor Sierra Whiskey Golf in the white tail, of course. So this is another very cool airplane. Uh, very similar story to the A&A that we just assessed. This is another aircraft that I'm sure it's really niche based, but some people that, I'm sorry, there's three dogs on the um, our pool's rock wall right now. I just did not expect to see that outside. Okay, uh, nevertheless, this, uh, like I was saying, this is an aircraft that some p collectors may end up with, even though they're looking for a normal livery. I can attest to that with several of my airplanes. But again, this is another really nice niche-based aircraft. And I'm sure a lot of people like it. And personally, I really like the all-white Star Alliance livery. I think it's really, really cool. So that's really cool to see right there for the uh, Singapore Star Alliance. Very nice plane right there. Very nice. Another Star Alliance, Aviation 400, taking these Star Alliances to the next level. This is going to be an Air China one right here with another Boeing 777-300ER, Bravo 20. 032. Very nice right there. So 
Another aircraft that's seen the Star Alliance livery. Air China, I think, had a couple of Boeing 777s done from various companies over the years, but this is going to be a just the Star Alliance one from Aviation 400. So they are sure loving that Star Alliance livery, and I think it looks really, really nice too. Of course, this has the standard tail, so very nice right there. That looks really, really cool. Very nice. Uh, Star Twix Airlines Airbus A350 941 Bravo 304 Uniform. Very cool to see this release right here from Aviation 400. Again, I've said this several times throughout these release reactions. I hate to say it again, but I don't know a whole bunch about this movie anime type liveries from China, so I'm sorry about that in Japan and everywhere else that they're from. But this still looks like a cool livery. It looks like you got some sort of panda up here on the front, a nice uh, pattern design of colors, and then a bunch of color contrast right there. So cool plane. Credit to the photographer. That looks really, really cool. Very nice. Uh, plane right there. Okay, Air China Boeing 70... Ugh, ugh, yikes. Air Canada Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. This is the Fly the Flag livery with the Go Can the Go. Charlie Foxtrot Victor Lima Quebec. Now, this is interesting because I thought Aviation 400 only had the 787-8 mold, not the 9s. So I guess Aviation 400s can now make Boeing 787-9s, which is really exciting. And this is definitely a good choice. Now, they have a long... They could do several of them uh, that... NG hasn't done yet and various carriers like that that could uh, take the mold to the next level. Uh, this is still a really cool one as well. I think we've had Gemini Jets, NG models, JC Wings, and I think now Aviation 400 do this aircraft. And I talked about this in one of the previous re re release reactions is so many companies are just pretty much just stomping all over themselves with just different iterations of the same plane. I personally don't think it's a bad thing. It's just really interesting to see so many companies nowadays making the same plane. Um, obviously, we used to have this a lot, but, you know, what I kind of like to say with model collecting, which is kind of different from everything else, over that 90s into the mid 2000s range, a lot of things consolidated, and that's what happened when obviously Drag Wings went out of business. I think JC Wings integrated a few companies and things like that. But over the last five years, we've expanded so much and have gained so many new companies, such as Aviation 400. I don't know if they're necessarily new, but they've really stunned onto the scene, in my opinion. Uh, NG Models, of course, one of the biggest. And then we've had other uh, manufacturers like Panda Models really still the scene, too. So it's been really interesting to see that through the model airplane community, and it's really cool to see this. So I know that was kind of a long talking point, but it's really cool to see another iteration. I'm sure their molds are really, really good on this aircraft. So that's very nice to see right here from Aviation 400. Nice release. In the 1 to 200 scale, it looks like I need to click the dots to continue. There we go. So here we go with the 1 to 200s. Very interesting to see. Uh, very interesting photo shoot, but this is theirs. This is a China Airlines Boeing uh, 707-32B Bravo. Uh, Bravo 1828. Uh, and this comes to stand too. So Aviation 200 does have the uh, 707 mold, which is very cool. This is a good looking airplane. Uh, it looks like they're going for some retro planes with these molds. And obviously that's pretty much what you can do with these. So that's a good looking airplane. I think it looks really good. So good job there by... Uh, Aviation 200 now, I guess, if you want to call them that. This is a Shahin Air Airlines uh, Boeing 707-300 uh, Charlie Bravo 2425. That's a cool looking livery. I think it looks really nice. Um, this is really hard to talk on since these planes were obviously in the 70s and 80s. So I don't know a whole bunch about these nor what their networks and stuff were and how they operated, but still looks like a very cool plane. I'm sure it definitely serves a purpose for retro collectors. So nice plane there by Aviation 200. Okay, I guess they have an A350 uh, mold too, is they're gonna be doing that Sunwich Airlines uh, pan delivery again, which is very nice. So this is, again, very cool livery, looks really good, and I'm glad they're transpiring up to one to 200 scale too. Very nice, very nice, looks really, really good. And they're also going to be doing the China Southern Airbus E350-900, which is very exciting. This is going to be Bravo 30 Foxtrot 9 again, so it looks like they have an E350 mold. I personally haven't seen much of it. Um, I hope it's really good. I'm sure with all the quality they've done on their 400 scale products that their 200 is even better, and I would love to try it one day. So really cool to see that from Aviation 200. Very, very nice. And just like that, that is all she wrote for the Aviation 400 and 200 Um pre-orders i don't know exactly what month they were but yeah uh those are some really cool ones again a lot of international variety from across the world which is really nice i think the ed is uh the probably the coolest one but i like all the star alliance the cathay pacific is also very very nice in the asia world livery i think that will definitely serve a purpose and yeah this is just a fun release for sure i really like what they got going here so pretty good variety overall a uh, bunch of triple sevens but hey i can't complain triple sevens awesome plane and somebody's got it covered in a good mold am i right so very nice release 
release right there from Aviation 400, and I'll be very excited to see where they'll take it into their next release. So, with all that being said, that will do it for today's video. Like I said, really cool release. They did a very good job, and I'll be eager to see what they have next on the docket for their upcoming releases. So, very cool to see that, and really happy to see them do such a good job on the Aviation 400 and 200 stuff. So, good job, Aviation 400 and 200, and I'm excited to see what the next planes that come for those two will be. So, with all that being said, that will do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Dredger of Aviation is signing off.